Or it is also going to allow to share the inverse of the hyperbolic tangent function, which can be derived by using the hyperbolic tangent function. We can first let y be equal to the inverse of hyperbolic tangent function for easy writing purpose. And we know that for any function f, if we substitute the inverse and we should obtain x itself if f is a function of x, which means that e to power y minus e power negative y divided by e power y plus e power negative y is equal to x times the entire equation with e to power y plus e to power negative y. And we should obtain e to power y minus e negative y is equal to x e to the power of y plus x e to the power of negative y. And we just have to group e to the power of y on one side, e to the power of negative y on the other side. So since this is e to the power of negative y, so we are going to move to the right. So negative move over become positive e to the power of negative y. And on the other hand, we have this is e to the power of y. So we move over positive move forward become negative so we have x e to the power of y then the other remain so we have e y equal to plus e negative y so we factorize the common term so we have e y times 1 minus x is equal to for the e to the power of negative y we can rewrite as 1 over e to the power of y 1 plus x and we times the entire equation by e y. So which means that we have e 2y times 1 minus x is equal to 1 plus x. Now we express e to the power of 2y in terms of x, which means that we divide entire equation by using 1 minus x. So we should obtain 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. What we have to do next is loan both sides. So which means that we have loan e power bring down become 2y. It's equal to loan 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. Loan e is equal to 1. So which means that 1 times 2y is 2y equal to ln 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x and we divide the entire equation by 2 so we obtain y is equal to ln 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x and this divided by 2 which means that it's 1 over 2 and y what we denoted here is the inverse hyperbolic tangent function, which means that the inverse function is equal to 1 over 2 times ln 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x. And hence, we obtain the inverse function and we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.